Sony just unveiled the technology they plan to use in their future televisions. Will RGB backlights bring us better and bigger TVs in 2026 and beyond? I'm Chris Boylan, and this is Acoustically Speaking. Last month, Sony invited a handful of tech journalists, TV reviewers, and content creators to their headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. There, they let us in on their plans for TVs. This year, next year, and beyond. The secret ingredient? RGB backlights. Traditional LCD TVs, and this includes mini-LED, QLED, QNED TVs, generally use a white or blue backlight, a color filter, and an LCD panel to create the on-screen image. Some LCD TVs use quantum dot technology in order to enhance color depth and color accuracy. Sony's new RGB backlit TVs replace that white or blue backlight with RGB backlights. That means we have a separate LED element for each of the primary colors, red, green, and blue. Using this method, Sony says they can expand the color gamut beyond what we currently see in LCD TVs for brighter, more dynamic, and more accurate moving pictures. Sony also told us that because they can take advantage of standard LCD TV manufacturing processes and facilities, they can make very large screen TVs, 100 inches or more, at a lower overall cost than emissive displays like micro LED or OLED. At the event, Sony told us they've been developing this RGB backlighting system with advanced local dimming for the past several years. We got a chance to check out the latest prototype and its performance was impressive. Virtually no haloing or blooming, rich color saturation, impressive off-axis viewing, and all without sacrificing the high peak brightness we've come to expect from LED LCD TVs. The tech is poised to give emissive displays like OLED and micro LED a run for their money. Building a display based on the three primary colors isn't exactly new, and Sony is anything but a newbie at RGB-based display systems. The company's revolutionary Trinitron Aperture Grill design for CRT, cathode ray tube TVs, in the 1960s used a single electron gun to illuminate individual red, green, and blue phosphors. Trinitron technology allowed Sony televisions to produce color TV images that were vastly brighter and more saturated than competing shadow mask designs. And that RGB design was hidden in plain sight in its name. Trinity for the three primary colors, and Tron for the electron gun that activated the phosphors. Sony Trinitron TVs would be coveted by consumers for their top-notch picture performance for decades. 21 years ago, Sony delivered the first commercially available RGB-based backlighting system for an LCD TV in the Qualia 005 TV. Sony Triluminous RGB Backlighting System, as it was called then, delivered nearly twice the color gamut compared to the more common CCFL backlight system that was in widespread use at the time. The company has continued to pursue the development of RGB backlighting and decided to announce its intentions to the world just last week. On March 13th, the company officially announced that it has refined RGB backlighting to the next level. Sony says they've developed a new display system incorporating an independent drive RGB LED with a high density LED backlight that can individually control the three primary colors, red, green, and blue RGB, and that it is suitable for large screens. Independent control over the red, green, and blue lighting elements results in higher color purity and a wider color gamut, as well as more precise control over color luminance or color brightness. Of course, since there's not a one-to-one -one match between the backlight elements and the pixels, the new sets will still require a color filter. But starting with individual red, green, and blue lighting elements expands the options when reproducing all shades of colors. According to Sony, this new backlighting technology can reproduce over 99% of the DCI-P3 color standard and about 90% of BT2020. This should enable displays that use the technology to better reproduce wide color gamut UHD content encoded in HDR10 and Dolby Vision high dynamic range formats. Combined with Sony's proprietary advanced backlight control technology, these future RGB LED LCD TVs should be particularly good at reproducing subtle shadow details as well as bright specular highlights, even when both are on screen at the same time. Unfortunately, Sony did not allow us to take photos of the prototype TV, but we did get to take a picture of an exposed RGB backlight unit displaying our initials in our favorite color. Mine was purple. Sony says that new RGB backlight displays are expected to enter mass production later in 2025, though the company is not announcing any specific models or pricing at this time. In fact, the technology is so new that it doesn't even have a name yet. Tri-Prime? Trinimax? Triniton Squared? Super RGB? The possibilities are endless. 
While Sony has been leading the development effort, the company acknowledged several partners who have been integral in bringing this technology to market, including MediaTek Inc., who make the control processors, Rome Company Limited, who make the LED drive ICs, and Sanan Optoelectronics Company Limited, who make the actual mini LED RGB backlight modules. The key features of Sony's new RGB backlighting technology include wide color gamut, again, over 99% of DCI-P3 and about 90% of BT-2020, peak brightness up to 4,000 nits, which exceeds the current best OLED TVs, improved off-axis viewing compared to traditional LCD panels. In viewing the prototype set up against Sony's current best mini LED TV, the Bravia 9, and its current best QD OLED TV, the A95L, the RGB lit prototype LCD TV was clearly superior to the Bravia 9 in color volume, off-axis viewing, and contrast, and was able to keep up with the color saturation, contrast, and color volume of the A95L. That QD OLED TV, the A95L, still offered some advantages in black level reproduction and perceived contrast, but the RGB lit LCD TV was clearly capable of higher peak brightness, even higher peak color brightness, which made it look more dynamic even when the room lights were on. If the prototype's picture quality translates into a future production model, the best QLED TVs and even the best OLED TVs will face some very strong competition for overall picture quality. Also, Sony engineers told us that the tech lends itself well to larger screen sizes, so we may see a Sony RGB lit LCD TV in 100 inch or even larger screen sizes. This is something that current OLED and micro LED TVs struggle with. OLED TVs currently max out at about 97 inches and these models typically sell for around $20,000. While the early RGB lit LCD TVs will undoubtedly be expensive, we expect the larger screen sizes to be priced competitively compared to larger screen OLED TVs right out of the gate. While Sony will continue to offer traditional LED LCD TVs, mini LED TVs, and OLED TVs in their lineup for the foreseeable future, this new RGB LED backlighting technology will likely be the basis for the company's next flagship television. Bravia 10? Anyone? But probably not before 2026. From what we've seen so far, the tech looks promising and may offer color performance comparable to or better than current WRGB OLED and QD OLED TVs, but with the peak brightness and large screen size advantages of LED LCD TVs. We're looking forward to seeing what Sony can do with the tech in the coming months and years. Until then, we'll see you next time on Acoustically Speaking. Got any questions about RGB backlighting technology? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next time. Last month, Sony invited a handful of tech journalists, TV reviewers. <laughs> I thought you were going to text me first. <laughs> Literally in my first first paragraph of my final take. Um, can I call you back? No, 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 no problem. No, dude, dude, we should do, I should, I should, I should have known better. Um, I'll call you in about 15 minutes if that's okay. Sounds good, man. Okay, bye. Crazy.